sour, so we can like either chill out here or maybe afterwards, whatever. What's your preference? Have some jokes. It's like, yeah. Any questions? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's a, it, went, it went by like a flash. So. Oh, good question. Community. We're going to be talking about community. I'm on the community track, um, so we're all here about community. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to be talking about something that's like slightly personal, an event that happened recently. So I'm going to use a, a copy or whatever, my notes here. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you all. Thank you for coming. And to kind of get started with like a slideshow. So if anybody's taking notes, uh, here we go. So hi, all. Um, this is about my 10th, like Phosphor G. I've been part of these shenanigans for over six years now, and it's always a pleasure to be able to speak in front of you. Supposedly, I'm talking about geo-opportunity making, but truth be told, I've struggled with what to say on this topic, seeing that I wrote the abstract when I wasn't in the best of opportunities. So right now, I don't feel like I have any deep lessons to impart. I don't feel like any expert on opportunity making, but I have just come from a pretty profound experience with the open source geo community, and I suspect that there is something of value in that experience for you and for me. So I thought I'd share with you that story. It starts with an accident. And since I progressed a little too early, it's a bike accident. Um, on October 9, 2014, I was in West Virginia on a bike tour when I didn't make it to the bottom of a mountain. I don't know what happened. There was no one present as witness. There was no social media to capture the fall. Instead, I was found in seizures in a ditch on the side of the road. I was told I died a handful of times before a helicopter took me to a trauma unit in Virginia. My next memory, after a leisurely bike ride up an empty mountain, is 11 days later. The prognosis was hopeful but serious. I had fractured my neck and suffered a traumatic brain injury. So in the last couple of months, I've learned to see, walk, talk, and think again, or differently. It's hard to say which is which. But however you look at it, the process has been nothing short of miraculous and humbling. I've had to sit with concepts that might seem obvious before, but now I must really ponder to understand their meaning and significance. But sometimes there are invaluable realizations on the other side of such ponderings. I believe I had one about you, the Open Geo community. So let me tell you about when I woke up. Imagine blankness. The moment of consciousness that happens when you rise in the morning. That liminal space that might be your mind's personification of fog. I was living in that fog and there were very few thoughts that had any weight or form. But one concept did take shape. When I woke up, there were flowers in my room, there were cards on the table, there were colleagues and clients next to me, and there were a stream of well wishes in my inbox. This wasn't about geo, this wasn't about open source, this wasn't about anything we typically do, but you were there. And you weren't there as hero who comes in with a brave new computer fix, you were there as a collective, you were there together, and it mattered. If you had asked me before, I would have agreed that community matters. I would have agreed that the biggest accomplishments are not done by oneself, but with others. I mean, it's almost politically incorrect to disagree about that one. But I've never been on the other side of community outreach. I've never seen what a difference it makes to my friends and my family to be supported by a group. By getting hurt, I'd inadvertently opened myself up to the community, and you came. I never felt so far from myself, and I've never felt so connected to community. I want to talk about what I learned in that realization of community and what a difference it made. First, I understood more about the power we embody, together, and Moss. When we are not fighting for ego, we can actually be really nice to each other. Sometimes, we, we remember that community is made up of a bunch of people, and that people, the lives we embody, are very fragile. Sometimes we remember that our humanness, sometimes we remember our humanness, and sometimes we can be nice about the shared experience of life. That kindness is our kindness. It is our awareness that change happens together, but also through personal choices. That is power. So more about this powerful kindness. Since I was a little kid, it was natural for me to look towards the head of the pack, even though I am often, we are all often in the middle. I never saw it out to be carried, at least not like this, by a group. It reminds me of those cheesy trust falls. I had fallen, and there was nothing I could do, and the community came, not really knowing what they were doing, but still they came to help me get better. Perhaps we are well-versed in moving together, in understanding that collectively we can move mountains, 
because it isn't necessarily significant what one person does, but rather what we accomplish together. I felt that power. It was empathy, kindness, and compassion all wrapped up in a care package. I was a recipient of that power. It shaved literal months off of my recovery time, and it was extremely humbling to experience it. We together are nice and powerful. We, the open source geo community, have the power to change an industry, but also to touch people's lives. Other people's lives, but our own lives. Our community is not an abstract concept. The community is made of people. The community is us. Second, the fall, the accident, taught me something about letting go. I was absolutely helpless. I couldn't see or walk, let alone think or lead, and people stood up. They came. They handled things. They handled me. I learned something in that handling. I learned something about creating space for people to show up. So often we think of inspiring change, but stepping back, listening, breathing, these are powerful traits that bring people together. What can shed light, they can shed light on a different path. This breathing room creates the space for other leaders to grow, for other opportunities to emerge. No community is solely on a single person's shoulder. There is no community of one. If you are feeling overwhelmed, maybe it's time to sit back and listen. Right now, I'm a little hesitant as I get better, perhaps not as foolhardy as before. As a result, I have to trust myself and the people around me to help. This feeds into one of my general ideas about the open source geo community. It is made out of people that are not only nice and know when to let go, but they are also hungry to make a positive difference with each other. Most of us want to do meaningful work, and we would rather to get work together than alone. I live that from that place of intention. I work at MAPSM with that belief of our goodness. We are nice, and we are good, and we want to collaborate. We work to help ourselves, and we work to help others. What are, what are the events where we help ourselves and we help each other? Well, this is one for starts. They're letting me speak. But they also, the entire GONYC and MAPTIME communities deserve, in my estimation, a welcome shout out. These are communities that don't forget the human part of technological curiosity and advancement. There are, and there's another event that carries the kindness and power of an open geo collective, the Open Street Map Conference, State of the Map US, come June 6th through 8th at the United Nations. This will be a convening event of open geo data, and I invite you to come make it a powerful success. There is an opening for every one of us to be an opportunity maker in the open geo community. What I learned from my accident is this. It's not about you, but it's all about you. It's about the small choices we make to be a better human being, a human that is kind and nice and thoughtful towards others. Working together is not about doing, but about letting go and listening and sending a get well card. Sure, we accomplish greater things together than we ever could on our own, but who we are as individuals at small moments matters collectively. I learned the power that together can make. I learned that in whole, we are good and kind and powerful. And I knew all these things, but these days I keep that lesson very present in my life and in my work. This ethos of community is why I've been part of the Open Geo community wholeheartedly for so many years. And it's why I feel fully at home at the work at MAPSEN. These, works are, these values are present in all of what we do and who I'm asked to be. I get to live kindness, ni niceness, partnership, and listening in my everyday. I urge you to approach your own communities, your own work, your own life, and those of others with the same generous spirit. It makes a difference to what we can achieve technically as a group, but it also makes a difference to what type of person you will become getting there. So the secret to community, to opportunity making, is aiming high, but also being kind, of being kind and remembering that every piece of work, every pull request, every email, there's a real human out there. They matter, and so do we. Thanks. Thank you.